So for thousands of years, literally thousands, the most fundamental rule in medicine has been very simple. Do no harm. First, do no harm. Above all else, do no harm. All medical schools in this country teach that rule repeatedly. Doctors who intentionally harm their patients do not belong in the profession, period. But like so many other rules that have ordered society for generations, it is now changing, and very quickly. Weeks ago, we told you about a student at Wake Forest Medical School called Kinshel Del Rosario. On Twitter, Rosario wrote that a patient had mocked her, quote, pronoun pin, which signaled her allegiance to gender ideology of some kind. In response, Del Rosario wrote, quote, I missed his vein, so he had to get stuck twice. In other words, for having different political views, she stabbed her patient. Another student at Wake Forest Medical School called Yuen Lu called the episode, quote, karma. In other words, the patient who was stabbed deserved to be stabbed by his doctor. Now, since we covered that story, Wake Forest Medical School, as well as Wake Forest Baptist Hospital and the company that owns the hospital, Atrium Health, have gone silent. We've asked many questions. They've refused to answer any of them, questions like, Will Del Rosario be allowed to stab more patients in the future as a doctor? But we do know that in a recent email to the student body, the deans at Wake Forest Medical School criticized, quote, unkind people on the internet who dared to talk about the story. They didn't even address the stabbing that took place at their school. That's because most of Wake Forest Medical School community supports that stabbing. Wake Forest student newspaper just published an editorial blaming the patient, quote, it is appalling that the vast majority of media coverage surrounding Del Rosario's tweet is critiquing her lack of professionalism rather than her patient's display of bigotry. There's been no known follow-up with the patient concerning the problematic nature of their comments or even any documentation of their inappropriate behavior. So laughing at someone's pin gets you stabbed and the ghouls are trained to be doctors at Wake Forest Medical School think that's fine. So that's the prevailing view at Wake Forest, quote, medical school. But not everyone agrees. Some physicians and medical students are shocked by the loathsome response from their administrators. They've informed us that Kaishal Del Rosario is scheduled to begin seeing patients at Wake Baptist Ear, Nose, and Throat Department as soon as next week. She'll, she's also on the Wake Forest Planning Committee for an upcoming conference in Dallas on how to treat trans patients. We know why this is happening, by the way. If Kaishel Del Rosario had stabbed a patient because he identified as trans, she would have been expelled immediately. And of course, we'd be in favor of that. Doctors can't stab their patients because they disagree with them. But she hasn't been expelled. She's going to be a physician, maybe at a hospital near you, because she has the right political views. She's a left-wing activist, like the deans and the physicians at Wake Forest who are protecting her. Del Rosario's patient didn't ascribe to that ideology, so according to the principles of equity, he should be stabbed.